friends are going to draw a Christmas tree. Yeah, a cartoon Christmas tree. We hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a pencil first and then a marker. You also need some paper. Paper and something to go with. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. We're drawing and coloring with markers, so we're also using marker paper to draw with. And we're, we also have two sheets of paper just to protect our table. Okay, let's start with our pencil first, and this is to draw the basic shape of our Christmas tree. And if you were to look at a Christmas tree and guess the shape, what would you say? A triangle. Yeah, a triangle. If you look at, at, at the very top, it's a point, and then it comes down, and it's very big at the bottom, and, and then it comes, comes back. And yes. then it makes another triangle. And oh, then yeah. And it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. No, there, bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah, there are lots of little triangles. So we're going to start by drawing a big, giant triangle first. Now, you don't have to draw it big, but this is going to be the size of our tree. So I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to add a point up about this high. There we go. And then we're going to draw a line that comes down, diagonal, on the left, and then down, diagonal, on the right. Yes, and then we're going to connect the bottom to complete our triangle shape. Now down here at the bottom, we can draw a bunch of shapes for, what do you put under the Christmas tree? Presents. Presents, yeah. We're going to draw a square like this. So we draw an L shape, and then you can draw an upside down L. And then I'm also going to draw another square shape. But look, this one's going to overlap. <laughs> yeah, and like it doesn't have. Oh, I like a rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle shape too. I'm going to draw this one that comes down like this. Maybe this one's tall. I'm also going to draw a circle present shape. Oh, you could even draw a weird shape present too, like just <laughs> a blob. <laughs> I'm going to draw ooh, maybe a little present down here in the bottom. Oh, and maybe right here I'm going to draw another present that's a circle over here. So we've got a bunch of different shapes, right? Yeah. It looks really cool. These are just our guidelines, and that's why we used our pencil first. Now we're going to switch to our marker to add all of the details. Let's start up here, and we're going to draw a line that goes on top of the pencil but we're not going to go all the way down. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. But I am going to make them go down a little further. There we go. Then let's draw a bumpy line like this. And some of the bumps are big and some of them are small. Connecting over to the other side. So you can vary the sizes of all the little bumps. And then we're going to come back up to these little bumps right here. And we're going to come down. So I'm starting on the inside of the pencil line, but watch this. I'm going to come out to the pencil line and then do the same thing over here on the side. Yeah. And then we can draw more little bumps and big bumps going all the way over to the other side. Good job. I like it. It's turning out really cool. Yeah. Let's do one more all the way down to here and also the same thing over here. So we start on the inside of the pencil line and then we end on top of the pencil line. And then we're going to draw those bumps following the bottom guideline. Big bumps, little ones, all the way over to the other side. Cool. Yeah. We did it. Now that's an easy way to draw a Christmas tree. But it's not really a decorated. Christmas tree. Yeah, it's not decorated. We need to add the decorations to turn it into a Christmas tree. Yeah. So let's do that. Now you guys can change your decorations any way you want. You can add Christmas lights, you could add ornaments, all different types of ornaments. You could also add garland, that's kind of the rope-like stuff that goes around. And uh, you could also add a star or oh, something yeah. on top of the tree. So let's start with the star, but I'm going to switch back to my pencil. And this way we can draw the guidelines for our star. So I'm going to draw an upside down V. Yes. And then we're going to draw a line across to make it look like an A. But look, it looks like an A with arms. <laughs> oh, you did it. You just went ahead. <laughs> Good job. And then I'm going to connect this line all the way down to here and also this line all the way down to here. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Oh, cool. That's the nice part about using a pencil is you can change your drawing. And that way you can erase it if you don't want to, <laughs> if you want to change it. OK, I'm going to switch to my marker and just trace around the outside of the pencil lines for the star. Here we go. All the way around, 
back to where we started. You did it. Now let's switch to our eraser and we're going to erase the guidelines that you can still see inside of the star. Oh, let's also erase the guidelines on the Christmas tree. So these ones that you can see on the outside as well. Before we add any more decorations, let's add our funny face. Uh, right, I'm going to draw it right here. That's why we left this part of our tree bigger. So let's draw, I'm going to draw the mouth first. I'm going to draw a big smile like this. And then I'm going to turn it into a jelly bean shape so that it's a really happy Christmas tree. <laughs> now you could change your funny face any way you want. I'm going to add the teeth, kind of like our gingerbread lesson, and a tongue. And then I'm also going to color in the shape above, and above the tongue and below the teeth. Oh, I love your mustache. And Hadley always adds eyelashes and you seem to always add the fancy mustache. <laughs> okay, now we need to add the eyes. I'm going to draw them on the side of the mouth. And <laughs> if you draw the eyes on the side of the mouth, then your mustache is kind of more like eyebrows. <laughs> I'm going to draw a smaller circle in the top left of each eye and then color in the big circle but leave that little circle white. This white circle is like a highlight or the shiny part of the eye. <laughs> oh, that's perfect, Austin. Okay, now let's add more decorations to our tree. I think I'm going to add Christmas lights first. I'm going to start up here. I'm going to draw a curve that comes across this way. Then I'm going to draw a curve. Watch this. It's going the other way, it's kind of more diagonal this way, and this one's going this way. Then I'm going to add, oh, we got to draw above the face. Your mustache <laughs> might be in the way. <laughs> there we go. And then we can add the Christmas lights. I'm going to keep it really simple and just add oval shapes connecting to that curve that we just drew. And some of the ovals I'm drawing on top of the curve and some of them below. And we're trying to draw these ovals the same size as we go across and add all of the lights. Oh, look at this light. Kind of looks like the nose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and also, I might even add a Christmas light sticking out on the side, too. There we go. And maybe some down here, too. Next, let's add a few ornaments. I'm going to just draw circles for the ornaments, and we can just draw them floating inside of our Christmas tree. Ooh, I got to add some down here on the bottom section too, below the face. We did it. We finished decorating our Christmas tree. Now we need to draw our presents. Let's pick which present we want in front. I think I'm going to do um, that one. That one maybe oh, is yeah, in the very behind. back. Yeah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna start with this one right here. So I'm gonna draw this circle, just trace over the pencil line. Then I'm gonna use my eraser to erase the guidelines inside of that present. That way, this one will be in front of the other ones, overlapping. Then let's draw this shape. I'm gonna draw it over here. Look at this. This kind of looks like the ground, the bottom of this present. So I'm going to change it so that this present is higher. See that? Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll come in here. I'm going to erase this pencil line. Oh, yours turned out perfect. Just like that. Then I think this one will be the next one that's in front. So I'm going to trace over this one in front of the other square shape. Then I'm going to use my eraser to erase the guidelines inside of that one. I'm going a little fast, so remember, if you guys need extra time, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, pause the video. Next, on mine, I'm going to draw this big circle. You could probably draw that one, too, in front. I'm going to draw like this, come around. Maybe this is the Death Star wrapped up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a big circle. Or it could be a basketball. That's a big basketball, though. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to switch to my eraser and erase the guidelines inside of this one. There you go. Next, I'm going to draw and trace over this one that's in the very back behind all of the other presents and also this weird shaped one too. 
and also the little one down here. Let's erase the rest of the guidelines. Yeah. What are our presents missing? A bow or yeah. bows. Bows on each of the presents, yeah. And we're a ribbon that goes around it. So I'm gonna start on this one. I'm gonna draw two lines straight down for the ribbon. Now each of the bows we're gonna draw exactly the same. So let's first draw the knot on top. Then let's draw a diagonal line coming up to the left and then down to the present. And then the same thing, yes, the same <laughs> thing on the right side. We did it, okay. Now on this one, it's a little tricky because I don't have any room up here for the bow. So I'm gonna draw off to the side like this, but we'll just repeat the same steps. See how it's diagonal? Yeah. I'm gonna do, on this one, I'm gonna draw it straight up because I have room to add the bow. Oh, and also if you want, you could draw ribbon going across this way too. That's kind of fun. Yeah. You could also add just wrapping paper. Maybe this one is striped. So this one doesn't have a bow. I'm just gonna add diagonal stripes uh, for the wrapping paper. And this one right here, this little one, I'm gonna draw a bow on top, but no ribbon on the side. And on this weird shape one, I'm gonna draw a, <laughs> I'm gonna draw a big bow it comes up like that, and maybe also ribbon on the side. I have one more present. I'm gonna draw polka dots for the wrapping paper on this one. I'm just gonna draw circles that go around. And there we go, we did it. Yeah. Oh, I, I feel like we're missing one thing. A tree's floating. Yeah, your tree's floating. <laughs> it needs a trunk. A trunk, yeah. <laughs> Let's draw two lines. We're gonna imagine that trunk going right down the middle. We're gonna add two lines that connect to our presents. And we did it, Austin. We finished drawing our Christmas tree, our cartoon Christmas tree, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part we'll fast forward, but first, let's pick out the colors we're going to use. We're using our Art for Kids Hub markers. If you have the same set, you can use the same colors that we're using, but that's okay if you don't. You can use other markers, crayons or colored pencils, or even... Oil pastels. Yeah, oil pastels would work great. The colors that we have picked out, 103 brown, that's for the trunk, 46 green for most of the tree. We also have 15 red, 35 yellow, 23 orange, 66 blue, and 89 pink for the tongue or maybe even some of the wrapping paper. Yeah. This part we're going to fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Almost done coloring, Austin. We've just filled in everything solid, and you could leave the drawing just like this to keep the lesson a little easier. I thought it would be fun to add some shading. So I'm gonna use CG7, and this is a dark gray, and I'm just gonna add a little layer on top of the green underneath each of the different levels of our Christmas tree. See how that makes it look more 3D? Yeah. It's a little shadow. You could also add this shadow underneath each of the ornaments, even the Christmas lights if you wanted to. But see, now those Christmas ornaments look like they're on top of the Christmas tree, almost like they're floating. I'm gonna add another shadow underneath this level. And I'm also going to use CG1, that's a lighter gray. I'm gonna use this to add a shadow underneath each of the presents. We did it! We finished drawing and coloring our cartoon Christmas trees and they turned out perfect. I especially love yours and the funny mustache that you have. Thank you. <laughs> you could even add more things to your drawing, like a background. Or more decorations. Oh, more decorations would be awesome, or even more presents. You could also draw Santa in the background. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a cartoon Christmas tree. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you take time to change your drawings and add different things. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.